Andy, Nate. Okay, and what red brick is this? Ah, there we go. What red brick is this? I knew what it was going to be. It's why we came over here. Eight times studs. Okay, so let me finish saving. I can't actually open the map or the extras while it's still saving. Okay, so last stud multiplier. And we'll turn on our mithril bricks too, just for kicks. Okay, so after Helm's Deep would be Isengard. Nothing else in Helm's Deep to deliver right now. No, okay. Isengard. Anything to deliver? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, what about Ministeris? Oh, that's Minas Morgul. Where is Ministeris? There it is. Two quests, which would be this one and this one. So nothing to deliver at Minas Tirith. Minas Morgul. I think this one would be Minas Morgul. Which technically it's in Osgiliath, uh, but the closest travel point is Minas Morgul. <laughs> okay, hop over here. There you go. There's your glowing shield. I'm truly grateful. Two map stones are Kirith and Ghoul, which we do have a few things we can deliver over here. one again. This was such a pain. Okay. Uh. No. See what I mean about this one? Probably my least favorite one to try and get to. Oh, and you're stuck in the rock again. Alright, I need another elf. it wasn't as hard to get to as last time. Although Legolas still got stuck. Which is probably more my fault than his, but still. My eternal gratitude. Anything 
else to deliver here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so then the last in that stone is at the Black Gate, which is this one. Yes, anything over here to deliver? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, so, if that's all that we have to deliver, then let's go back to Bree again and start doing some collecting over there. Okay, so, don't need to both be hobbits or elves. Let's keep one of you as a hobbit. Oh, we can't get into small hatches and stuff. Alright. So let's start out here. Let me make sure they're both daytime. Yes. And then we'll work our way back into the city. And once again, if you are still wanting to collect studs, then um, lots of stuff to break. Or if you need to farm studs, there are lots of them over here by breaking stuff. But considering what we're at now and the fact that we've got all of our multipliers on, I think we're pretty much done farming for studs. And a lot of you are going, oh, thank God. <laughs> But really, oh, there is a trophy, by the way, for collecting, I think it's a billion studs. Which actually isn't all that hard if you just keep farming and have all your multipliers on. And by farming, I don't mean every village you come to and stuff you need to farm. But, like, when you're in the levels, just farm those for studs. Because you can easily get hundreds of millions of studs. Okay, I think I remember that we need a key to get that, actually. <coughs> now, I don't remember if the key is in here or in here, but we'll find out. Let's use our travel. No, we have to stand in the right spot. Huh? What are you doing? Use the trowel. Now stand there. There you go. Okay, <coughs> nope, that was just for studs. Let's let's use Shockwave axe. Oh, we can fish. <laughs> and is that our key? Yes, there's our key. So now that we have our key, we can get this brick. Come on, let me in. Oh, we need 
Morgul. <laughs> or not that we need Morgul, we need to break Morgul. There we go. Let's go buy Radagast. Which maybe I need to reread the book, but I don't remember Radagast being in the Lord of the Rings. I remember him being in the Hobbit, but oh, why am I trying to beat you up? I don't want to do that. I just want to buy you. Okay, Radagast. And I guess we'll move into the city now. So let's get this design. Okay, that is pointing here. Why is it pointing here? Oh no, here we go. Design for the Mithril hairbrush. Okay, some of these I remember where they are, so we'll get those first and then we'll look at the map. Really? Huh? Really, yeah. Elf? How do you... Thank you. I was gonna say, how do you miss that? Okay, I'm gonna go up here. Take a little trek across the rooftops. I know, did you guys ever think you were going to hear me say just studs? Okay, mm. fire number one. Um, fire number two. Three. 
fire number four. Oh, oh, that's it, just four. But apparently that's just studs as well. Alright then, let's go back to using our map. Oh, that's because that's everything in the city. Okay, let's go get that one. Release away. Ah, okay. Let's go over here. And get over here. And over here. Okay, now build skeletons. Two, three, brick. And let's go get this one. There are lots of piles to dig up around here, but most of them are for, uh... Dig here? Most of them are for studs. Oh, so is that one. Oh, there it is. Ooh, I remember this one is kind of being a pain. Actually, that wasn't bad at all. Okay. Okay, now I don't remember if this one is considered weather top or Brie. Let's see. Nope, we got everything from Brie. Except a second design, right? Is that what it says? Design's one of two, so where's the other one? Have I not gotten that one? kind of hard to tell. Let's try. <coughs> Where are we going? Back into the city? I should just travel back into the city then. Okay, and they threw a whistle sword. Now do I have everything except the unfinished quests? Okay, two of two designs, eight of eight bricks, one of one characters purchased, waiting on two, three quests, one of which will be a red brick quest. So three quests, soup pot, Fancy Umbrella, and Mithril Mushroom Crown, which none of those seem like they'd be a red brick quest, but if you say so. So, let's see, there's not that much to do at Weathertop, we might as well finish Weathertop. We'll start down here. And this away. Stop taking us back this way. Oh. And I seem to remember digging up a key. I 
just don't necessarily remember where. Ah, there it is. Thank goodness that was easy to find, and I didn't have to go dig up ten dirt piles before we got to the key. is only available at night. Anything else only available at night? Looks like the rest of it were okay. So, let's go ahead and get the ring race first, and then we can get everything else in one go. I'm probably not going to have time to finish this area on this video, because I'm really trying to keep these at about 25 minutes. So, we will go ahead and buy our ring race, maybe get this design, and then we will call it. Oh, I think I can show you another Easter egg while we're here. Where is this design, by the way? Does it have to be daytime? Looks like it could be any time, doesn't it? Well, maybe I have to go back down. Okay, let's see if I can show you... Ah, here we go. So if there... No. What I was going to say is if there are any Assassin's Creed fans out there... This will be a familiar sound. And I can get up here without screwing it up. <laughs> sound familiar? It's supposed to be an Easter egg of the eagle call when you do a leap of faith in Assassin's Creed. Okay, design in here. I beat it down with a rope. That's super effective. Ah, got it. And there's actually where the goat is to do the uh, race for this mithril brick over here. But anyway, we will finish weather top next time. So that's pretty good. Today we got two level or two one level free played, two uh, mithril brick quests for the stud multipliers etc. So I hope you guys are continuing to enjoy the series. If you are, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and I will see you next time when we continue our adventures in Lego The Lord of the Rings. Bye for now.